I remember when my firstborn son, Tyler, was born. You get this baby. They hand you this baby, and you can't, I don't know about you guys. I was, our situation was a little different, and we were really young. And, you know, I was, we were, like, not ready in so many ways to be parents. And I don't know if you're ever really ready anyway, but we for sure were not ready. We were kids ourselves. And they just handed me this baby. Like, there's no manual or anything. And, like, they're like, okay, you're free to go. I'm like, hold on here. Can we stay in the hospital a little bit longer? Because I'm not sure we know what we're doing, right? And it's, it's such a, an amazing experience. They handed me Tyler, and, and I was overwhelmed. I started crying. As a, a new mom and dad, I had this question before my son was born, like, am I going to be a good dad, of course, but am I, am I going to love this kid? And then you have this kid, and they put the boy in your arms, and you don't have to think about it. It's so automatic because this is your child, right? Before Tyler could do anything except cry and poop. I loved him and I was so proud of him because he's my son. He, hey, he couldn't even tell me he loved me back. He didn't have anything to offer me. Yeah. But I was so pleased and so proud just because he's my son. Yeah. God the Father on, on a way more extreme level loves us that way in the sense of we're his children. We get born again, we're his children. And he's pleased with us just because we belong to him. When he sees us, he sees his son, Jesus. And he's just proud of us. He's proud that we're his sons and daughters. He's pr- but, but apart from us doing anything. <laughs> we struggle to believe that though. We know it. Many of us know it, but we don't believe it. It's because we don't understand this love that he has for us. He, 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 John said, God is love. That means to us, church, and I, I, I say this all the time, that means that he can't love me any less or any more. God will never love you more than he does right now. <laughs> that, that reality alone should just, I mean, drive everything in our lives. He can't love me any less. He doesn't love me less when I sin, when I make a mistake, when I lose my temper, when I mess up. He doesn't love me less. Do you really believe that? He doesn't love you less. 